We are here for brewery number five, Bruin Real Estate, where we go over every single week what's going on in the real estate market. We answer any questions you have. Uh, we have some good stuff this week. Housingwire.com, they said 8.8% of the United States are in forbearance. I don't know that those numbers are exactly true. So Keith, can you, can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, man, I think those numbers are probably close. Uh, another statistic that came out and said that 40% of homeowners that are actually in forbearance are current meaning they're continuing to make their mortgage payment. But like, why would it be in forbearance and still making your mortgage payment? But basically, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac came out with guidance associated mm -hmm. with pre-qualifying for a home loan, either refinance or purchase. If you're in forbearance and current, meaning you're making your mortgage payment, you can do a loan right now. You can refinance or purchase mm -hmm. right now. You know, our initial concern with forbearance was that they're gonna skip a pay, let's say if they go enter into three month forbearance, their mortgage payment is uh, $2,000. Well. You know, one payment, 2,000, two payments, 4,000, three payments, 6,000. Then they have to make the, the fourth payment plus everything else. They have to write an $8,000 check for their mm -hmm. in default. And that's what we were initially concerned with about forbearance in the beginning. And we were like, man, that's going to cause problems in the real estate market because how are people going to make an $8,000 check that are struggling to make their $2,000 check? Right. But now they've come out and said, well, you can just add that to the end of the loan or you can do modification. You can work, do a workout agreement. They're most likely not going to forgive the principal, but I don't necessarily know if that puts someone in a position where they're going to lose the house. Um, yeah. And then again, if they do, um, um, there's equity typically in the property. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know if we have a flood of distressed sales sold under market that decreases that decreases mm -hmm. property value. And I also think, just based on the present market, it would love some more inventory. It would. And you can and, probably you talk know. about that a little bit is, you know, is, I mean, some extra inventory in the marketplace would be a, just an amazing thing. Yeah. And, and to your point, I wouldn't necessarily say distress sales. If they have equity, they're going to be normal sales. So they, they'll be able to pull the money out one way or another, right? The equity that they have. So I think distressed is a, is a, a key word there like if they have to sell one could say it's distressed but i don't think they're going to sell below market value because of the low inventory that we have so i think time will tell on that